Vim3D is a VI clone with the Vim style interface to creating 3D scenes. Simply hit the I hotkey to enter insert mode, and L to traverse between the various curve interpolation. The U and V hotkeys are reserved to edit history. This allows users to navigate the command stack and modify any previously created geometry. You can then use this to watch your modified commands update on the fly. Similar to Vim, you can optimize the user interface by splitting windows horizontally or vertically. Vim 3D supports many modeling operations and visualization modes. For example, while extruding, you can visualize the face numbers to extrude any face along some arbitrary vector. These techniques can be used on any polygonal shapes to create, for example, a series of buildings fairly quickly. We can take this a step further by copying a geometry to a set of given points. Vim3D also allows you to align the coordinate frames of the instances to the orientation vector of the path to which they are copied to. Here we can model a tunnel by having a backbone path in a cross-sectional geometry and perform a sweep operation. A Perlin noise function can be used to convert a regular grid into a very diverse terrain. Using the J and K hotkeys to navigate between objects in the scene, you can apply a texture with the texture command to a given object. UV coordinates can be either generated or modified using the poly ST and poly texture commands. These techniques can be used to simulate multi-story buildings or perhaps make other scenes look more realistic. Vim3D supports an array of lighting capabilities. Creation of point lights, directional lights, or spotlights is fairly simple within Vim3D. All conventional parameters can be finely tuned such as attenuation, cutoff angles, and diffuse specular and ambient colors. Numerous object interactions are supported within Vim3D. Geometric objects in Vim3D allow for either grouping or hierarchy. These groups can be recursively nested to create any hierarchical structure. Here you can see we have a solar system where if we move the parent node, all planets move along the plane. For animation, Vim3D supports channels which can either be generated within Vim3D or imported from MATLAB. Here we take an audio waveform and control a ball's translate Y parameter based on the waveform data. Other parameters such as color and orientation can also be controlled using channels. Path objects can be created using object references. Object references allow you to create a relationship between two distinct parameters of two objects. A simple use of object references is having a camera follow a moving target. Vim3D also supports generalized look at objects. Simulate cloth in Vim3D with a cloth object. Vim3D has a built-in ray tracer. It supports reflections, refractions, area lights, texture mapping, and normal mapping to produce high-quality rendered images. The batch renderer can be used to create ray-traced images for a video. For more information or features, check out vim3d.com.